Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord to worship. Amen. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Amen. Behold and good how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Amen. And I'm saying I thank God for blessing me and my mom to be back safely among Amen. our friends. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. To you, our visitors, family, and friends, it is a pleasure and a blessing for you to come and worship with us. Yes, it is. Here at One Way Assembly, we sincerely pray that you find the occasion to come back and worship with us again. I pray that this day you would take something away that will encourage and uplift your spirit and your soul. Amen. This is the occasion now where we would say to anyone that had a birthday between last Sunday and today, please stand. Amen. 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 Good morning again to each and every one. I would like to say thank God for blessing me to be back. And happy one. birthday. Miss Amen. each and every one. Thank God for blessing me to see another year. Amen. My blessed gift is God giving me the breath of life. Amen. That is the blessed gift of all. Amen. Amen. Thank God again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. God bless you. Well, we know this is the day that God has made, yes. and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. And you know, no matter what may come your way, God is going to take care of all your needs. Yes, he is. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Yeah. Okay. Comment.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. He's the all-time God. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, can do much better than that. Praise the Lord. 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 Amen. To God be the glory, giving all praises and glory to God, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for he's definitely worthy to be praised, glorified, and lifted up. Amen. Because there is definitely none like him. I'm just always excited to be in God's presence yes. in his house yes. Yes. with each and every one of you. And uh, it's good to see everybody. It's good to Amen. see the family, Amen. friends. Amen. It's good to see my mom who made it back yeah, from uh, out of town Amen. last Amen. week. Amen. To be, thank her to be back in another birthday. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm so excited. And um, to God be the glory. I mean, yeah. um, it's not easy week after week, day after day, yeah, yeah. moment after moment, hour by hour. The trials and tribulations that I go through. And I know God blesses each and every one of you to make it throughout your trials and tribulations as well. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But as the Bible says, this is the day Amen. that the Lord Amen. has made. Amen. And Amen. let us rejoice Amen. and be glad in it. Amen. That means glad in whatever you're going through. He brought you from a mighty way. Amen. And he has the assurance to bring you through. Amen. As well of out of any situation yes. that you're dealing with. Amen. 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 Again, I just want to bring you a personal greeting from myself to you to yeah. one way assembly where Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except he be drawn by him. Yes. And I thank God so much that he has drawn each and every one of you, whether you're online, Zoom, or in the presence of the saints. Yes, Lord. To God be the glory. Amen. You know, life is not easy. As we realize, each and every one of us has a life. We all have children. Oh, yes. And we want the best for them. Yes. We do not want them to inherit. Or make some of the mistakes that we've made. That's right. Even if we're still making them. Yeah. We have to, at some point, allow God to step in and intercede. Yes, Lord. Amen. And Amen. show us the way. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Because God forbid that our lifestyle, our way of direction, will fall into the hands of our children. Yeah. Yes. And at this moment, I'm just so anticipating what God is going to do for us this morning. Amen. Amen. But as we prepare for a word of prayer, We realized last week that we were dealing with the pitfalls of parenting. Yes. And we can say that was phase one. But this morning, we will be looking at the pitfalls of parenting. Part two. Man. Because there was such an overwhelming response that there is a need for our children. Yes. Whether your child is an infant to 
in the age of an adult, yes. we still understand that there are pitfalls yeah. yes. okay. oh, in yeah. parenting. Yeah. And as last week, we looked into the life of a man that had two sons, which was Eli. All right. And he had two sons named Hophni and Phineas. But today, we're going to look at another parent. We're going to look into her life to see how did things turn out for her. Yes, amen. So, as we look at 1 Samuel this morning, chapter 3, verses 1 through 10 this morning. As you find your way in the text, again, 1 Samuel chapter 3, verses 1 through 10, let us provide us a word of prayer. Dear Father God, we come yes, before your presence this morning, thanking you for awakening us Amen. to another day. Amen. You didn't have to do it, but you did. Yes, sir. And we thank you so much because it wasn't the alarm clock, it wasn't the text or the phone or by knock at the door, but it was you, thank you Lord. who stopped by our residence, All right. thank you, Jesus. not realizing you oversee the entire planet of various time zones, but you did Yes, yes. stop by our bedside and awakened us and gave us traveling grace to arrive safe and sound to this place of worship and to those who are online with us. Yes, Lord. Dear Father God, we come uplift and magnify and zoom in on your name. Yes. Thank yes. you, Lord. Oh, Father God, thou art holy, holy, holy. Amen. Father, please forgive us for all of our sins and all of our transgressions. Fill us with your spirit and move any and everything out of the way. Clean the room in our house, in our body, temple, so the Holy Spirit can dance freely yes, Lord. within our temple. Yes. Lead God and show us the way this morning how to avoid the pitfalls of parenting, part two. Yes, Lord. Father God, we... Thank you so much. Thank you. And we ask all these blessings in the mighty, magnificent name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hey, Amen. Let's give God some praise in this place. I know we love clapping our hands to our basic tunes we love, but we should right. be able to give God some Amen. praise. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Amen. When we look at this Amen. third chapter of 1 Samuel chapter 3, as you noticed last week, we was in chapter 2. And we talked about in that 12th verse that there was a man by the name of Eli, and he had two sons that were scoundrels. And we also found out that this priest, Eli, who was not only a priest, but he was the judge over all Israel, and come to find out, his two sons didn't even know the Lord. Yes, okay. Very strange, isn't it? Yes. A man of this high esteemed, priest over all Israel, and his sons were priests also. But they didn't know the Lord. Yes. But on the other hand, God was up to something because... We're going to look at this beautiful text here today for us in chapter 1. I will be reading this in a basic English version for your reading. And it goes like this. Now the little boy Samuel was serving the Lord under Eli. This is the same man whose two sons is off the hook and off the chain, right? 
But we see that Samuel has found his way under the parenting ship of Eli. And then it says the Lord's word was rare at that time and visions weren't widely known. What this is saying here is that during this time, God had stopped talking out loud yeah. to the children of Israel. Okay? Yeah. So the word was rare, meaning God wasn't speaking like I'm speaking to you now. Yes. Can you imagine if I'm not seen, but you hear my voice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let me try to make it a little clearer. That's just like now you hear my voice, but you can't see me, right? All right. Sure. Yeah. Can you imagine? There was once upon a time where God's voice would be audible for you to hear it. Right. Yeah. And he spoke from a cloud, but during this time, the word was rare. Yeah. He didn't communicate with man. Because why? They wanted to not hear his voice anymore. Mm. Mm. the Lord's word was rare at that time and visions weren't widely known verse 2 says one day Eli who's the high priest over Israel judge whose eyes had grown so weak mm. he was unable to see yes yeah. So he's getting up in age. His vision is getting impaired a little bit. And was lying down in his room. Verse 3 says, God's lamp hadn't gone out yet. And Samuel was lying down in the Lord's temple. Yeah. Where God's chest was there. Well, y'all catch that? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. When it says where God's chest was, this is referring to the Ark of the Covenant. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's a good place to be. Samuel, little Samuel, is laying down in the Lord's temple where the Ark of the Covenant is. Yeah. Mm, it's a good place to be. Mm -hmm. Verse 4 says, The Lord called to Samuel. I am here, he said. Verse 5 says, Samuel hurried to Eli and said, I'm here. You call me? Eli says, I didn't call you, he replied. Go lie down, so he did. So y'all see what's happening here? Oh, yeah. Samuel oh, yeah. is laying next to the Ark of the Covenant. Yes. Eli is in the other rooms, the high priest. Okay. Seems like he should be near that. But anyway, the Lord calls Samuel. Samuel gets up and goes down to see did Eli call him? Mm -hmm. Didn't I just say that it was rare? That the word was being spoken. Mm. Oh, yes, yes. And visions wasn't made clear yet. Yes. So we have a little boy who hears a voice, but there's no one around. So he assumes that the guardian, Eli, called him. Yes. Verse 5. Samuel heard and said to Eli, and he told him, I'm here. You call me? No, I didn't call you. Eli replied and said, man, go back and lay down. Verse 6 says, again, the Lord called Samuel. So Samuel got up, went to Eli and said, I'm here. You call me? Then Eli realized that it was the Lord who was calling the boy. Amen. Now, See, it takes somebody to be real in tune of the situation because if Eli didn't know who was calling him, they would have been playing this game or running back and forth down the hall for a while. Mm. But watch what happens in verse 9. Eli had discernment. 
Yes. So Eli said to Samuel in verse 9, go and lie down. If he calls you, say, speak, Lord. Yes. Your servant is listening. So Samuel went and laid down where he had been. Yes. See, I like how Samuel is in a place where God can come talk to him. Amen now. See, sometimes wherever you at, you might not be able to hear God's voice very clearly. Because you might be in your car with the music up too loud. All right. Amen. You might be at home in your den or living room with the TV up too loud. You might be around people who talking crazy, acting a fool, or you might be in the club. All right. Can't hear nothing in there, can you? Uh -uh. I saw a video the other day that they was all at the club. And for some strange reason, they jumped into a praise shout in the club. Mm. Mm. That's all right. But my point is in this text here is that Samuel was in a good place yes. to be listening for God to talk to him. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Verse 10. Then the Lord came and stood there. See, it wasn't just a voice. No more. The third time he was standing there for young Samuel to see. Yes. So it says in verse 10, then the Lord came and stood there calling just as before. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel said, speak. Hallelujah. Your servant is listening. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. Let me say that again. Verse 10, then the Lord came and stood there calling just as before. Yes. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel then responds, speak. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Your servant is listening. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all know Samuel's a young little boy. Yes, Lord. Smart, intelligent, in God's house already. Yeah. All right. Oh, but word, wait word, till word, we word. figure out who his parents were. You see, for those of you who don't know, last week we we're dealing with a series called The Pitfalls of Parenting. Yes, Lord. And last week we highlighted Eli with his two sons. They were so corrupt, doing too much, disrespectful, wasn't even honoring God. But this week, this week on the other hand, we finna work with something. So this morning, we will deal with section E of verse 10 of chapter 3, where it says, speak, your servant is listening. Okay. All right. This morning, for a few moments of your time, because I know you got a lot of things to do, <laughs> but just for a few moments. I need to talk about, I need to reveal, I need to examine, I need to exegesis this text to preach, teach a message entitled, Can You Hear Me Now? Wow. Amen. 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 Wow. Can you hear me now? Wow. Now, y'all know me, I love to have lots of fun and learn. <laughs> The word, don't we? All right. You may see, I'm not some type of pastor that's so. How are you doing this morning? She good in yourself. No, no, no. no. I need to ask a question this morning on the floor since we're talking about can you hear me now? Hallelujah. How many of you have cell phones in here this morning with you? Right. Don't be scared. Raise your hand because some of y'all got phones, and I know you got them, but you ain't raising your hand. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. Now, here's a good question. How many bars do you have on your phone right now? You got one. You got two. You got five. You got good reception, right? 
Okay, that's good. Now, the reason many of you have different signal lengths and strengths is because all of you don't have the same cell phone company provider. That's right. Okay. All right. What you working with? Who you got this morning? Can I, do I see my Verizon folk in the room? Who do I have Verizon in here? All right, I see some Verizon. Who got T-Mobile in the house? Ooh, that's a sign that Metro's in the house. <laughs> oh my goodness, we got any AT&T folk in here this morning? Oh, my AT&T. Ooh, do we have any crickets? Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, we do understand that crickets are quiet in this place. Okay, I got you. So, no crickets in the house, so we can scratch them out. Any spread? Well, I just wanted to see, did y'all know that they merged? I'm messing with y'all. Okay. I should have gave somebody a gift card for that one. That was a trip or a trap question. Now, <laughs> which means your provider may not have, the only reason why you may have different signals and sometimes it's short is because your provider may not have cell towers in certain locations to expand your coverage zone areas. Okay. Amen. That is why there are so many cell phone companies in the world today and they have with one consent to get our business by proving themselves by this one question, which is, which one is better than the other? Mm. Huh. But how can they do this? I'm so glad you asked that question because how do you know which company is the best one for you? I could piggyback and ask, how do you know which friend is right for you. Mm. But that's too early. I don't want to mess with y'all right there. Just that soon. Now, how do you know which company is best for you? The best one for you? Well, one, is it the price of the phone? Mm. Number two, is it the plan and its features? Number three, which one has the fewest drop calls? But the most important factor of them all is the coverage zone area. Yeah, that has a lot to do with why you're trying to make a call and all of a sudden, man, where you at? <laughs> Signals are out. I know many in the room this morning is probably with one of the following companies and did they get your business by their motto? Mm. Please don't be mistaken that you went with the company you went because of these models of some of these companies. Well, or was it the phone? Well, let's see if you're familiar with these slogans or company models. And by the way, what's a model? Okay, a model is a short sentence or phrase chosen as capturing the beliefs or ideals, guiding an individual, a family, or institution, and lastly, a company. Now, many in here may have your own motto. Do you have any models of your own? Do you say to yourself, well, I look good today. <laughs> Who model is, I'm going to put these pants on. I don't care if they don't fit. <laughs> I'm going to wear these pajamas and go stand in line with my milk and cookies. <laughs> Whose model is, man, I was going to get my hair cut, but I don't feel like it. I'm going to work it just like this. Models in our own personal life. I mean, I don't want you to say what your model is. If you think you all that in a bag of chips and a sticker, that's your business. <laughs> now, Verizon, on the other hand, their model is, we never stop working for you. But now, 
they go by, we build right. Well, the good thing is I know that my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Amen. never stops working for me. Amen. Amen. When I don't feel like going through something, he's going to make sure I'm good and I'm built good on faith. Thank you, Jesus. Thank well, you. we got another one. Let's see what's happening. A T-Mobile and Sprint have merged, and their motto is, are you with us? Well, God wants to know, are you with his son? Amen. Amen now. Who are you with? Thank you. AT&T model is, is where people come to invent the future. Mm. That's cute. <laughs> well, you would want to come see Jesus, though. Amen now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, you know, I have to say the best for last. Yes. All us get your, I mean, Metro folk. <laughs> Metro model is wireless for all. Well, Jesus Christ died for all. Amen, amen, amen. And thank humanity. You, thank you, Lord. Yes, thank he you. did. Thank you, Jesus. Well, thank you, Lord. My question this morning, since we are dealing with cell phone situations, yes. Does anyone? Remember a man by the name of Paul Marcello? Mm -hmm. He was the spokesman for Verizon. And you remember he walked around asking a question, can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. And he was all over different places on the planet and he was asking, can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. And my question is to you, where are you trying to hear from God? All right. I mean, if he was able to be all over the planet yes. asking, can you hear me now? Where are you at? All right. Right now, spiritually in your life, and can you hear God? Hallelujah. Thank you. Are you having drop calls? Yeah. Hallelujah. Is it your coverage zone area? Mm -hmm. Are you around people that you can't? Get a call or prayer through to God. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, last week on Father's Day, we dealt with Eli and his two sons. Yeah. Named Hopni, which means what? Anybody remember that? Well, I'm not going to mess with anybody if you don't have your notes, but. My oh, fist. oh, good. My fist. <laughs> Hopney names my fist fisty, strong, hard fisted, a fighter. And did anyone remember the name of Phineas, what his name means? Mouth of Pity. Yeah, Mouth of Pity, the bronze colored one, serpent's mouth. And they were known as scoundrels, which means what? Rascal, a creep, good for nothing, low life, maggot, reprobate, and a scallywag. So here's a priest that has two sons All right. identified as rascals, creeps, good for nothing, low lowlifes, maggots, reprobates, and scallywags. Mm -hmm. Some horrible men, but this is this man's son named Eli, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? This morning we are going to look into the mother All right. of Samuel who took over Eli's position as priest, prophet, and judge over Israel. Yeah. Mm. Samuel's mother name is Hannah. Yes. Y'all remember Hannah? Oh, yes. Yes. Not from the TV series called have and have not. I just want to make sure we don't get the Hannahs mixed up, but we do see some of her strengths character wise in the TV show, right? Mm -hmm. So now you're going to see what was really going on with Hannah because her name, y'all remember I told y'all names mean things in the Bible, right? Oh, yeah. So it's kind of interesting. We have to be careful, which it may be too late now. We've already named our kids already. Because back then, they took the child's name serious. Right. Back then. They didn't say, honey, what you want to name the child? Mm -hmm. 
And they figured out what they want to name their child. But back then, they would ask God, not each Amen. other. Hallelujah. And y'all know we got some names out here today <laughs> that is quite interesting. We have things like Lexus, Mercedes, Chardonnay, Alize. <laughs> we got some names out here that have some very interesting meanings to them. And if we're not careful, we will have our children living up to what these names are. All right. All right. But by the way, Hannah name means gracious. Thank you, Lord. So that tells you a lot. Really, what's going on here, right? Her name means gracious, and she was one of the wives of Elkaniah. Yes. So, Hannah lives under the household with another woman. Kind of a Abraham, Sarah, Hagar situation. Isn't that something? Well, let's see what's going on here because Hannah, she was one of the wives of Elkaniah. By the way, Elkaniah was a Levite and he was a Kohenite branch of the priesthood. And oh, Elkaniah name has a meaning too, by the way. Elkaniah name means zeal of God. Wow. See, it's good to know a name of the person in the Bible, so it doesn't make your study habits very hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes we're reading people's names, and only if we knew what the name meant, it will give us a broader insight of what's happening. And y'all know, I love having fun, right. because <laughs> if you see someone napping, I'll give you a gift card. If you go... In other words, you're not doing poly on a cracker, but you can just say, well, let me show how you do it. You lift your head up, and you either go here, here. <laughs> and that's all we need. <laughs> I love meddling because we got to understand, if we sleepy, all right. <laughs> we actually could have just stayed at home. Uh, all right. Okay, now. See, y'all wasn't here at the time I preached the story about Eutychus who fell from the window right. and died yes. while Peter was preaching. Yes. Yes. But we do give you credit. We're glad you're here, though. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Anyway, let me bring your attention to the two ladies under the same roof in household of Elkaniah. Yes. You see, the other wife, Elkaniah, had her name was Paniah. And trust me, we got another name meaning coming. Paniah name means pearl, precious stone. And um, what's happening here, you guys? What put Hannah in a position to talk to the Lord? Well, Hannah was unable to bear children. Mm -hmm. Hannah had suffered ridicule from Paniah, on the other hand, who gave him seven children. Now, you might think, why is this lady who has seven children by Elkanah wants to tease Ridicule cause havoc and problems for the lady who can't have a child. What we have to realize, her seven children are watching this behavior. All right. See, we don't understand our children watch, listen, all right. They look and learn. Oh, yes. yes. So, Paniah's seven children are watching 
how she's treating him. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. yes. All right. We're talking about the pitfalls of parenting, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Hannah vowed that if she were to give and bear a son, she would give him back to God. Yes. Mm-hmm. And she would devote to the Lord his service. And guess what happened? Her prayers were answered. Hallelujah. Amen. And her to receive a young prophet. Yes. Mm-hmm. Who name was Samuel. Samuel. Thank you. But even though our text started in Samuel, but we're trying to figure out since Eli wasn't a good father to his two sons, I'm not going to say he wasn't a good father, it's just that they wasn't following him. And how did Hannah, who didn't have a child, gives a child and gives it to Eli? Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Well, this account is found in 1 Samuel chapter 1 verses 5 through 9 because I need you to see what Hannah did. You see, I don't know if you could have survived in this household like Hannah. Hannah is being teased, taunted, down talked, uh-huh. laughed at because she can't have a child not realizing God allowed her not to. All right. Let me share something with you. God will put something in your way to get something out of you Hallelujah. to make a way for you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. See, Amen. whatever you've been going through, don't think it's just for you. All right. When you receive some situations, some trials and tribulations that come in your life, you have to understand it's not for me. Hallelujah. Amen. It's for God to work my situation in me to clean me out, to clean some other people up. Because if you're exempt from any trials and tribulations, Jesus said, I am a green tree. Hallelujah. And you are a dry tree. See, a lot of us think we're not subject to any pain, sickness, or sufferings. All right. But David said, it is good for me that I've been afflicted, that I may learn of your statue. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, You see, Lord. right here is what determines a good parent from a bad parent. Yes, yes, yes Lord. Yes. Hannah doesn't have any children like Paniah does, and she wanted to talk, which means pray, to the Lord about it, but she couldn't. Yes. She had to realize and overlook the ridicule and situations under that house. Yes. That was coming at her. And still was trying to talk, pray to the Lord about it. Yes. But Hannah couldn't get through because where she was located. All right. Mm. Amen. You see, Hannah had a connection. Thank you, Jesus. It's just that where she was located, she couldn't pray, talk, or get through due to the distractions yes, around yes, her. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. All right. Oh, my goodness. She couldn't get her prayer. She couldn't get her talk. She couldn't get her call through yes, Lord. to God because of where she was. Yes, Lord. She yes. was in a bad coverage zone area. Uh, all right. Yes, Lord. Yes. You see, Hannah was in a hostile, aggravating, unpleasant environment and couldn't get a prayer through to God. So what did Hannah do? She prayed, didn't she? Amen. And she laid out one of the most incredible prayers you've ever seen in chapter 2 when you get a chance to read it. Thank you, Jesus. What does Hannah's name mean? Gracious. Gracious. Yes, Lord. You see, she had to get up. 
she had to go away. She had to get away from Panaya, which was a bad coverage zone area in the house that had no reception and her signal couldn't get through to the Lord thy God of Israel. Yes, Lord. Are you in an aggravating situation this morning? Are you in an unpleasant situation? Are you fed up with something or someone and you can't stand him or her? They just all in your mix, just trying to get you to go to the left. But I want to stay right. Amen. So I don't get left. Amen. You have to understand, people might not have the same provider that you do. Amen. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I know that Jehovah Jireh, who will see and will provide. That's the provider you need. But oh, we put so much stock into her, him, them, and that. You better say it. All right. Not realizing Jesus Christ is your provider. That's right. And some people signals are scrambled yes, this morning. Yes. Some people walking around, watch this, with a phone with no service. All right. Yes, this is a person who don't know Jesus Christ, right. who's dead and trespassing and sin. They got their little phone, look like they talking. Y'all remember the old time ago in the 80s? People had these car phones in their car. Right. High sign like they own it and ain't going nowhere. Then I saw somebody go have a nerd to have a telephone. Y'all remember them round receivers? In the car, y'all. You got people spiritually just like that. They look like they connected to Christ, but they connected to a dead mind. Yeah, you look like you got service. You look like you talking up a storm, but ain't talking to nobody. <laughs> man, I thought you was coming through. Oh man, what's the, what a party is! <laughs> what? Your phone? You don't have no service. All right now. We got people just like that. All right. And oh. Mm. See, I don't like mailing with y'all. Go ahead. Why is it that I get a group text? <laughs> I'm not in the group. I mean, you may have sent something saying Happy Father's Day last week, but you accidentally sent another message and I got it. Yeah. Mm. I don't care if you got into a fight with her. <laughs> See, people need to understand when you send a group text, please, my people online. <laughs> Just send it separately. I know you're trying to save time, but you're in a hurry for nothing. Because now you didn't made a nothing out of something because you didn't include a text when you said Happy Mother's Day. All right. But now, Mother's Day was a couple of months ago. I still shouldn't be getting texts based off of somebody arguing and step on somebody's shoe at Walmart. I don't even know that happened. All right. Send it separately. All right now. <laughs> So Hannah had to get up, y'all. She needed to get out of that house from Paniah because right. Paniah was a bad coverage zone area for All her. Right now. Okay. You see, Hannah still had grace in that space. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now. Because God was watching over her while she was in that house of hell. What did Luther say? A house. It's not my home. Yeah. See, everybody wants a house. Right. But your house is not a home. You got that right. All right. Yeah. Then some people want an apartment, but they are apart. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> some people want a condominium, but they condoning too many. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> Let me leave y'all room. Just have a little fun. Um, you see, Hannah had to get up and get up out of that house. Yes, Lord. So she can get her prayer through. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, you know what's beautiful? When you look in verse 9, it says that Hannah went to Shiloh. Hallelujah. Shiloh, the word Shiloh means rest. Mm -hmm. Amen. I thought she was at home 
But Hannah wasn't getting no rest in our home. And some of y'all today are restless in your house. Some of us are restless in our apartment. Some of us are restless in our condo. Some people are restless on the job. Some of us are restless, restless in our cars. We're restless while we're washing dishes. We're restless while we're trying to get our mind off of something. But you're restless. All right. You need to do what Hannah did. Yes, Lord. She went to a place called Shiloh. Yes, Lord. And the word Shiloh means rest. Yes, and Lord. that's why you're so restless and tired in your life. Yes, Lord. You're tired and restless because you're not doing nothing. How do you get tired in doing nothing? <laughs> Somebody need to help me with this. I mean, I'm so tired. I can't do this. I can't get up and go to church. I'm so, what? You're restless. All right. Because what? Your mind is running laps. That's true. Who are you chasing? What are we chasing? When you want attention, it costs you. All right. So when I say pay attention, it costs you. All right. Because we are spending our mind saturated about everything else but God's will. God didn't bless Panaya with seven kids. Why is she talking this lady? Why? Why is she doing it? Even though her name means pearl, but she not blossoming like one. All right now. Pearls come from where? Oysters. Anybody had any last night? No oysters in there? She was a rare breed. Panaya was causing havoc. This Hannah wanted a child. Yes, Lord. But God said, not now. Right. He wanted to put her to the test to see how bad she wanted. See, a lot of us want everything else but God All right, man. in our lives. Yes, we want something to satisfy us so bad right. that Jesus Christ is all satisfying. All right. yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Some of you are wondering why your life isn't changing. Mm -hmm. Same old thing. Same old stuff. All right. Doing the same thing over and over again. All You're right. on the merry-go-round of life. All right. It's like God said, get off the merry-go-round. And a lot of us went back in line and got back on it again. <laughs> All right now. <laughs> God freed you. He said the exercise is him. Right. You didn't left him alone. You didn't left her alone. You didn't left this alone. You left that alone. But you took yourself, right. got right back in line right back. <laughs> again. All right now. All right. Oh, right now. Reminds me of one of the songs, Shall I Step Up? Hurry this way again. <laughs> hurry up this way again. Come on. Why? You want to hurry to get in it, but you're not in a hurry to get out of it. Uh -oh. I got it. Oh, I know. Some of us didn't pray. Lord, send me this or that. God bless you with it. Lord, now you feel me? Take it away. All right. This is two different prayers. You say, Lord, bless me with da 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 da. He gives it to you, and all of a sudden, you pray. God was like, wait a minute. I already I gave you what you asked for. Yes. The problem is, we're not specific when we ask. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. You can see one of the most astounding specific prayers that Hannah prayed in chapter Hallelujah. In chapter 2. Yes, Lord. See, somebody may say, Lord, I want a car. He might bless you with a hot wheel. <laughs> you better tell him what make, what model, what gear, how many cylinders. Let him know. 
We see Peter learn his results. All right now. Peter asked the Lord to tell him, bid me to walk to come to you. Peter gets out the boat. He's walking. All of a sudden, the tempest started acting up, got him sidetracked. He started looking at the water, worrying. All right. But wasn't looking at the Savior. Hallelujah. And he started to sink, right? Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes. Peter knew all the Jewish patriarchs. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Peter, as he's sinking, he didn't say, God the Father of Abraham, yes. Isaac, Jacob, Moses, King David. He would have drowned by then. All right. Peter said, Lord, Hallelujah. save me. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. You better get specifics Thank you. with your requests. Amen. Now. Don't be asking God for no man or no woman Amen. and leave it at that. Amen. All right now. Because you're gonna get just that. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want a woman that has certain qualities about her life, but Watch this. If you don't be specific, he going to give you a Larry Curly animal. <laughs> and you're going to have all them three stooges working you to death. You better be specific. The reason why I'm messing with that is because Hannah was specific. Amen. She had a need of concern. Yes. This woman is on her case. Yes, Lord. Day in and day out. Can you remember? That's seven children. Yes, Lord. Hannah had to watch Panaya give one, two, three. And Elkanah is still with Hannah, but there's nothing happening. All right. So Hannah's like, I don't know if it's an I, but she had to talk to the Lord. Yes, Lord. And that's why we have to be careful. God wants us to bring about some kind of change. Amen. Amen. But that's why we can't change because we're restless. See, Hannah didn't get restless. She wanted a reward. Amen. Mm. Amen. And Hannah didn't get caught up on the merry-go-round of life. All right. She wasn't a repeated offender. <laughs> you may feel like you're in a holding pattern in your life. And you are, ma'am or sir. Y'all know what a holding pattern is, right? Mm, yeah. Anybody been on the airplane? Oh, yeah. They told y'all, we're supposed to be landing, but we go double dip for a minute. In other words, the plane needs to land on this table. Airplane at usually 32,000 feet is your normal cruising altitude, so they might drop down about to 10. And the air traffic controller is telling them, I can't bring you in right now because it's crowded. On the runway. All right. See, a lot of us don't understand. God is trying to set some things up in your life for you, yes. but you're impatient. Yes. You're running around with your head cut off. You're wondering you just don't know what to do. All right, Impatience yes. is a bad situation because a pilot can come on when he's in, supposed to, and running everything else. Uh -huh. God wants to clear some stuff out your runway yeah. so he can make you do your holding pattern yeah. and loop you around till it's time. for seven years to watch this woman give birth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Patience. Yes. You see, this may help you with your understanding of reception and coverage how technology works. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And you see, Hannah knew about this way back then, and many today don't even understand what Hannah did while under the roof with a bad person, a bad mouth, and a bad spirit. All right, now. You know what Hannah did? Hannah knew about technology. Mm -hmm. And y'all probably don't know about today, but we're going to learn today. Let me work with some real quick so we can see that. Let me show you what Hannah did. Y'all see what this is? All right, now. These are two cell phone towers. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The one on your left is your normal cell phone tower, how it experiences the capacity of 5G and 4G. All right. Just so you know, the G stands for generation. Mm. 
Now, many of us are familiar with the one on the left, but does anyone see what's happening on the right side here? Camouflage. In other words, we have this one here that seems to be trying to camouflage itself like it's a tree. But truth be told, this one doesn't need water. All right. It's camouflage because there are some dangerous benefits of having 5G around us. And I could deal with that on another day because these towers are in the most prominent areas where they should be. All right. They're near your schools, yeah. neighborhoods, areas of importance, parks. Why are these there? Because too much 5G causes problems with your health. All right. Oh, yes. yes. Not to talk about your immune system. Huh. Anyway, now, what's happening is I want you to see Panaya is sort of like this one. All right. She's camouflaged. Yes. See, it's so good to be in the house alone because we have a young Panaya Uticus in the room today. And you see how good God is? Yeah. He's so good. God is so good. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> you see, what's happening here is that that was you didn't have to ask no question for that one, huh? <laughs> so we have this tower here is what Hannah is trying to get a better reception. Mm -hmm. But Hannah is in the house with somebody like this who acting like they your friend. Mm -hmm. They okay. acting like they love you. Mm -hmm. They are camouflaging themselves to be just like you are. Not realizing they are bad reception for you. All right. Woo, next one. Just to make this a little more easier, watch this. The story of Hannah is right before us, whether you know it or not. That's right. Hmm. Hannah is over here on the left, right? Yes, Lord. And she couldn't get her signal through because Paniah, underneath the house, in root with her, couldn't get her prayer through. Yes, Lord. So Hannah had to go to Shiloh. Yes. which is the temple tabernacle and at this time the tabernacle temple wasn't ready yet yes, you Lord. see Solomon built the first temple right yes, so Lord. they had mobile tents mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> All right. mobile tents All right. just like mobile carrier mobile tent meaning the tent moves it wasn't in one place. Okay. So Hannah went to Shiloh to the mobile tent where Eli was. And oh, wait till you find out what happened inside. So we have Hannah had to send an uplink to who? The satellite, which is God. Hallelujah. And watch what God does. Hallelujah. He sends a downlink to Samuel. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Y'all might get that tomorrow because her prayer went up. She had proper connection because she had to get out from among them. Hallelujah. Some of us are around some folk that we ain't getting nothing accomplished, nothing done. You're just stagnant, still, and stuck. Once Hannah got out, sent her prayer up to God, God dispatched the downly, and that's what you have in your text this morning Hallelujah. between 1 Samuel chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. Amen. Remember Amen. it said the word of the Lord was rare? Hallelujah. He didn't speak in any visions? Yes. Well, when he called him, Samuel, Samuel, where are you? Samuel did what? He went down the hallway to see if Eli called him. Eli didn't call him. He had to go back. Yes. See that? So this is your proper downlink. Yes, Thank Lord. you for that. Hopefully that was able to make some sense for y'all. Oh, yeah. You see, many 
are in areas where you know you shouldn't be. That's right. Yes, yes. And you're trying to get a breakthrough because of your praise and worship yes, is broken. Yes, you got a broken link. And your walk and your talk is broken. Yes, you know what I just said? You trying to get a prayer through, but you got a broken link. All right. In your line. Listen to me. You will not and you cannot receive your breakthrough until you have been broken. Hallelujah. Oh, Thank God. the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You cannot receive your breakthrough, my friend. Yes, Lord. Until you've been broken. That's right. And a lot of us haven't been broken. Okay, come on. Say this with me. You must be broken. You must be broken. To receive my breakthrough. Hallelujah. my breakthrough. Yes, indeed. Yes, you see, a lot of us may be broke financially. But I'm not talking about that. You got to go a little bit much further, further than that. See, God says he looks for those with a broken and contrite spirit. Amen. You know what that means? You have to become spiritually bankrupt. Hallelujah. Amen. That's a, uh, the area of the power of desperation. Hallelujah. You are desperate. Hannah is in a desperate situation because she wants a child. Yes, and she's so serious about her child, she said, Lord, when you bless me with one, Hallelujah. I will give him back to you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. How many of you would Thank you. give your child back to God? Hallelujah. Thank I mean, that's a good thing to do, but watch this. How many will give him back to Eli? Uh -huh. no words. No words. That's what Hannah did. Hallelujah. Watch this. Hanaya broke Hannah. Do you hear me? Hanaya, who was under the roof with Hannah, she broke her. What is your Panaya this morning? Is it him? Is it her? Is it your son? Is it your sons? Is it your daughter? Or is it your daughters? Mm -hmm. All right. What's your panaya this morning that's breaking you to the power of desperation? Is it a relationship? Is it a situationship? Is it your alcohol or your uh -oh. drug addiction? Uh -oh. See, it's one thing to break the bottle. Mm. We may want to pour a little out for somebody. Mm. That's not breaking you. All right. Mm. You spilling just like it spilled into your cup. Mm -hmm. Is it your lust or your pride? Uh oh. Mm -hmm. What's your panaya this morning? All right. What's breaking you to the point where, Lord, I can't? How am I going to do this? Mm -hmm. You must get away to get a better location in your life mm. to serve God. Amen. I can't make this any plainer. You see, Hannah was true to her word. Yes, Lord. Hannah brought her son to the tabernacle and dedicated him to God. Yes, Lord. And guess what happened? Thank you, Jesus. God already knew. See, God was working something out before it was worked out. Yes, yeah. Lord. God already knew Eli, who's the priest of Israel and judge of Israel. Yeah. God put young Samuel in his house because he was going to take over 
Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jesus. You see, God wasn't going to have another leader until he sent Hannah through her situation. Amen. 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 I don't know if y'all thought that because he could have blessed Hannah way before he blessed Hannah. Yes. Did I? Yes. But God needed something. Oh, yes, he did. It shows the. Co- Wait a minute. Let me. Let me say, you know, Kevin, Kevin Hart used to say, you're not going to back that up. No, no, no. I'm not going to let you move past that one. You mean to tell me, let me mess with some of y'all. Hannah had a powerful lo- uh, relationship with Samuel at the age of three. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Because in the text, it said that when he became the age to be weaned off. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Then she took him Hallelujah. to Eli. You see, because yes. Eli didn't have any breasts to feed him. Right, right. right. Mm-hmm. But we have a problem in today's society, mm-hmm. All right. which I can go and insert myself into here right now, because we have men trying to have breasts today. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. And we have women who trying to have a penile organ. Let me deal with this argument very quickly. Men can't have a menstrual cycle. There you have it. Yes. Excuse me. Hello. All right. You can change whatever you want. All right. On the exterior. All right. God has not allowed a man to have a cycle. All right. Amen. You can change it all you want. All right. There. Yeah. I said it. All right. That's why Hannah waited and weaned Samuel before she took him Amen to live the rest of his life in the household of Eli. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. See, it's good to dissect the text. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Samuel knew his mother. Yes, Lord. And Samuel didn't cry yes, Lord. when she left him. Hallelujah. Some of our kids, we can't be out of their sight in 10 seconds. All right. But here, Hannah left her son Amen. with the priest Eli, knowing God saw a problem with Eli's sons. All right. Now. And Eli's sons, Hophni and Phinehas, was going to be the death of their father. All right. Now. Y'all see that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He was going to be the future prophet lived and served with the high priest Eli. Amen now. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. By the way, Eli name means the Lord is high. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hopefully nobody's high in here. (laughs) (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. Isn't that something? Eli name means the Lord is high. <laughs> and hopefully we not lit and high in him. All right now. Yeah, we can be high in the spirit. Yes, we can. Hallelujah. Eli mean name means the Lord is high. He was a judge. He was a high priest with whom the prophet Samuel lived with during his childhood. Yes, Lord. It was God's desire. For all of Israel to become as priests as he does for us to this very day. Amen. We have been dealing with a series now entitled, what? The Pitfalls of Parenting. Pitfalls of Parenting to help show us how to lead as God leads us. Amen. 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 One may ask why Hannah would take her only son Samuel to Eli. And his two sons didn't even follow him. Mm. Well, I'm glad you asked. (laughs) In the biblical story of Hannah and Samuel, 
Hannah's decision to give her son Samuel to Eli rest in this. Despite the misconduct that Eli had yes. and his sons, it can be understood by these three factors. Let's check them out. Y'all ready to see what, why, why would Hannah do such a thing? Yeah. A vow. Hallelujah. A vow to God did it. Yes. And many of us today need to make a vow to God. Amen. Amen. If my little bitty 32 years of my life changed around in 1993, Hallelujah. I actually made a vow to God. Yes. Thank you, yes. Jesus. Yes. I said over and over. Yes. Yes. I said this. Hallelujah. Very young. Didn't really know what I was into, but he was into me. Hallelujah. See, Thank you, Jesus. When I know what I'm into, Thank you, as long as he's into Hallelujah. me, I'm going to be all right. Hallelujah. I can make it. I said, Lord, this was my vow. I still remember. I said, Lord, if you show me this book, I'll show it to others. Hallelujah. Thank you. That's it. That's Thank, it. You. Thank you. Thank I didn't say, Lord, um, make me some. What? <laughs> no. I just said, I wasn't even thinking about preaching or teaching or pastoring at that time. This is April 18th, probably a week after the 18th. I said, yes. I kind of started understanding something. I said, Lord, can you show me what this book does? Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I remember Thank you, Jesus. in my past time, I had the book sitting on my nightstand, but wasn't reading it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I love to go personal because that's when I was living in Hilltop and all the stupid stuff. And, you know, I wasn't doing what God wanted me to do. All right, amen. The Bible's sitting right here, but I wasn't reading it. But after he came into my life, Hallelujah. I ran to it now because Thank you, Jesus. I didn't know what it meant Thank then, you, but Lord. the the book started moving and the, page, the stuff started coming off the pages. Yes, Lord. I mean, I remember the late nights I used to go out on my balcony. I used to have three chairs. I used to put the Bible in the middle in one chair, and I had a chair to my left and a chair to my right. What I'm going to talk about very briefly for about two minutes is I learned how Thank you. to let Thank God's you. presence actually show up Hallelujah. like he did for Samuel. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I would get on my knees on the balcony and the Bible was in front of me on Thank one chair. You, Jesus. I knew and learned this um, in the Old Testament, that they would set up pillars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And God knows. Yes, Lord. I miss those times because I can't. My life and time is so busy. Hallelujah. Amen. But I'm not too busy to do His will. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What I'm saying to you is that that was a moment in my life that um, I used to pray. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Lord. And I will say, Lord, speak to me. Hallelujah. And the pages would start moving. Thank you, Jesus. Try to get back to that, but I can't right now. And yes, Lord, Lord. May, what I'm sharing with you, I don't know if you need to do it, but that Bible, when I was talking to him, Yes, Lord. He controls the wind, doesn't he? Amen. Yes. Yes. And I would sit there at night and look up at the sky, and these pages would be. Hello. And I'll read. I was receiving it. Thank as you. As he was speaking. Thank you. That's my uplink. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. That started many years ago. Thank you. Thank and all you. he's been doing now is downlinking. Hallelujah. Downlinking. Downlinking. to make a vow to God. Amen. Yeah. Hannah made a vow to God Hallelujah. that if he granted her a son, yeah. she would dedicate him Hallelujah. to the service of the Lord. Yeah. This vow has made in the context of Hannah's deep desire and her brokenness. Hallelujah. Woo, for a child. 
as she had been bearing for years. When God answered her prayers and blessed her with a son, she remained faithful to her vow. Amen. So good. Watch this. God blessed her with two more children. Whoa. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 That's right. Sure it is. Hallelujah. So the first one was about. Wow. Yes. Watch this. A respect. Second, for the priesthood. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Hannah had a respect for the office. Hallelujah. Of the priesthood. Eli was the high priest at that time, and despite the shortcomings of his own sons, he held a position of authority and respect yes. within the religious community. <clears throat> Hannah recognized the significance of the priestly role and believed that Samuel yes. Yes. would receive proper religious training Hallelujah. and right. guidance under Eli's supervision. Amen. That's what it says train up a child. And the way she go when he's old, he won't depart from it. Amen. That's a fact. Thank you. Are we training our children today? Say it. Or are the children training us? Say it. Say it. Yes. Little Alize wants to tell me to go put me on the time after. What? Excuse me. Little Chardonnay showing out. Go ahead, Pastor. We have to respect the priesthood. Amen. Now, and Hannah wanted her son to be a priest. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. Now watch this. Eli has two sons yes. that are in the office. All right. But not serving. All right. Huh? Oh boy, isn't uh, Samuel the son that he wanted? Mm -hmm. All right. His two sons are doing the fool. <laughs> they have the office. You know what they wanted? They wanted the privileges yeah. of the office, uh -huh. All right. but not the promises to come. Uh -huh. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. See, a lot of us like. Let me see. I'm not in the middle of some of y'all. Um, <laughs> let me see something for a minute. How many people working today or work, have a job? That's a good. job. Uh, excellent. Do you like your job? Yeah. Yes. Because of its privileges yeah. or the duties? Good. You see, it's one thing to have a job and you get to do everything you want, but you don't do it. Amen. Amen. And there's another Amen. message that deals with um, when Jesus said, Come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Amen. I don't think I did that one here yet. It's called working but not resting. Uh uh. Amen. But a lot of us are resting and not working. It's the flip of the same title working. And not resting, and we have people that are resting and not working. All right. Jesus said, "The harvest is plentiful, Amen. but the laborers are few." Amen. You see, it's important to note that the narrative of Hannah and Samuel serves as a large respect. Yes. But the last one. So the first one is a vow. Amen. Second one is a respect. Amen. Ooh, number three, a trust Amen. in God's providence. God will provide for you. Yes, he will. Amen. You have to believe it. Amen. You have to trust him. Amen. Amen. Hannah had a trust in God's providence that it was going to come to pass. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hannah was able to say, so what, Penina? <laughs> right. You got seven kids. Right. Watch right. this. What's the number seven? Completion. 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 Yes, yes, yes. But Hannah can boast and say, my son is over all of Israel. Amen. 
And those seven children don't have to bring their offering to my service. All right. All right. How right. about that? All right. Oh, don't count somebody out. Amen. Now. Hannah's son became priest of Israel. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And the judge over Israel. Thank you, and she's sitting up here clowning her like she ain't got nothing. When people try to clown you, give them the, 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 the clown horn so they know. We got so many clowns in our lives. I'm surprised you ain't the circus master. All right. All right. Ringling Bubba's Barman and Bay. All right. Who's on your show tonight? All right. My God. How many rings in your circus? Wow. What's right. your sin on the church? Oh All right, now. I'm not going to get on the roll. What animals? Oh. All right. All right. Oh, watch this. Who you trying to tame? Oh, 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 no. oh, 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 oh. Come here. Sit there. You didn't call me back. You didn't return my text. <laughs> yeah, it, it hits a little different, doesn't it? <laughs> when we bring the circus of things into this situation and then put a little spiritual capstone on it, doesn't it? All right. Because as much as you trying to tame people, God is saying, why are you not doing that? Want to get mad and all this other stuff. And God is saying, why are you tripping? Okay. All right. Okay, what about me? Right? Right. Right. God is saying, what's with all of this? Right, right. 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 Yeah. What are we doing? All right. We had odds over silly stuff. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. But God is saying, I can really deal with you if I can. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, but all this other stuff in the world. All right, now. A trust in God's providence. Hannah's act of entrusting Samuel yes, to Eli can also be seen as an act of faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In God's providence. Thank you, Lord. Y'all see that? Eli's sons is doing the fool. But Hannah, through her uplink to God, can fix the good qualities in Eli. Yeah. To get it done for her son, yes, despite her other two sons acting a fool. Right. Did you hear what I just said? Yes. Yeah. God was able to use Eli, even though his sons wasn't doing what they needed to do, but he was still able to raise young Samuel to become the leader of Israel. Amen. 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 What am I saying? I'm saying this, despite who we all are, we got weaknesses, we got strengths, we do things we shouldn't do, we shouldn't be doing this and that, God can still work it. Do you trust that God is going to have his will done in your life? Despite the behavior of Eli's sons, Hannah believed that God's plans for Samuel would ultimately be fulfilled. Amen. Now. She did. She may have trusted that God would intervene or guide Samuel in his journey. Yes. Even within the flawed environment. Yes. Sir. See, many of us in flawed environments, but you have to trust God. To oh, yeah. lead you through your GPS That's system. Yes, yes, Lord. When you lost, you go to your oh, GPS, yeah. don't you? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. We need yeah. no need to ask other people yeah. where to get to here or there. That's right. That's yeah. our problem. We keep consulting everybody else except God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You got people with you, you that ain't going you. the same place you're going. Hallelujah. That's the truth. You preaching. Yes. Sometimes we have to just. Open the door. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. For some folk. They rode long enough. They sat long enough. <laughs> Let me mess with some of y'all. Any 72P riders? 72P? Wait, let me. 78A? 
Oh, maybe the millennials don't know about the AC transit. Yeah, I'm talking about our 72 P riders. Y'all know the P stand? I see you, mama. Uh, 72 P. The P. Did y'all know the P stand for betrayal? Oh, oh yeah. And the 72 M was for. Oh yeah. There was one time me and my mom got on the bus, and it was a man sitting right. All right. About time we, this was a 78A, went to Hilltop. Uh -huh. Do you not know, when we got ready to leave the mall, we've been in the mall for about two hours. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The man was still on the bus. <laughs> yeah. I said, wow. <laughs> Second occasion, now I'm going to mess with some of y'all. Y'all know the 72 M M P. they got to go all the way to open. That's right. Turn around and come back right here to Point Richmond. All right. All right. Still on the bus. <laughs> what that was letting me see that there are some people just go ride. My God. Yes. And ride this thing. All right. And don't have a destination. My God. All right. My God. All right. Amen. Are you like that in your life? You in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, wherever you are, and you just riding this thing. Oh, hell no. Now watch this. Why did the bus driver always ask you when you paid, did you want to transfer? All right, now. Sure did. Because God is asking us today. Hallelujah. Thank you. Do you need a transfer? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because I've been watching you ride and sit, going from to and fro, dealing with these people and those people all over the place. Jesus said, Hallelujah. Do you want to transfer? Do you want to transfer from this to that? Do you want to leave him and go see Christ? Do you want to leave her? Transfer. Did you know, y'all probably didn't know this, you can't ask for a transfer on your way off. My All right, God. now. That's, right. That's true. In your life, if you don't accept Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. before you bat your eye on this side for the last time, yes, Lord. it's too late, as Johnny Guitar Watson say, it's too late to close the barn door because the horse is gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Listen. Hannah knew what she asked God for. Yes, Lord. Hannah's decision to fulfill her vow and entrust Samuel to Eli played a crucial role in Samuel's eventual rise. Yes, Lord. As a great prophet, judge in Israel. Yes, Lord. As we see in this message this morning, in order for all of us in today's society as parents, a much better way to avoid the pitfalls of parenting. Amen. We must do these three things for a change to come in our lives as it did for Hannah. Yes, Lord. We must keep these three things in mind. One, you must always have good reception. Hallelujah. Okay. You got to make sure you got reception no matter where you go. Yes, Lord. To talk to the Lord by Amen. God. Amen. You could be in some places where you feel like you can't get through. Uh -huh. And I know, Brother Danny, you was trying your darndest to oh. get through. Hallelujah. But look what God did now. Amen. He moves you from the Kanaya and puts you in a place. Hallelujah. I know what I'm talking about. You couldn't get through. Hallelujah. The man Hallelujah. supposed to be a pastor, man, because you getting the word. Hallelujah. You couldn't get the word there. There wasn't no reception there. Hallelujah. God moved you like a chess piece and put you over here. Hallelujah. Thank you. I know he does. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You know why that helped? You Thank it? Because you had good reception. Hallelujah. You're in a place where you can receive. Your uplink is going up. Your downlink strong. You got good connection. You got five bars. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must not only have good reception, 
you must also repent. See, once you get your proper reception, now you're going to be able to know and see what you're doing wrong. And if you don't have good reception with God, you don't know what you're doing and why you're doing it. But once you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, believe that he died and rose on the third day and rose for our justification, now I can repent. Hallelujah. Repent means about faith. In other words, I was walking this way, but now I'm going to turn around and go back this way. Amen. The Christian's life is just like a fish called flounder. Amen. Now. Anybody tasted flounder before? Oh, yeah. 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 Flounder is a very unique type of fish. Mm-hmm. When it is born, it swims against yes. the current. Mm-hmm. No, it swims with the current. Yes. But for some strange reason in the flounder's life, it wants to turn around and go the opposite direction. And swim against the current. All right. See, going with the current, you had to learn who you are. You had to make mistakes. Everything was easy. It was coming and going. But then the flounder's fins had to get stronger. All right. His eyesight had to be more defined instead of looking with everything so easy. He had to be able to go and duck and dodge the other fish that's coming. Hallelujah. Thank and that's how the child of God is. It's just Thank like the Jesus. flounder. He is designed to go against Hallelujah. all odds. Hallelujah. Because Thank one day he's going to find a stream where it's only him alone. Thank peaceful streams. Yeah. That's what we look for. Amen? Yeah. Right. Amen. You must not only have reception, you must not only repent, lastly, you must always rejoice. Rejoice. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because Amen. after you got good reception, you repented, you can rejoice now. Hey, I got this. I'm saved and redeemed by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm going to get this done because greater is he that worketh in me to do it his will and to do it his good pleasure. That's why I know I can rejoice on this day because I can truly hear him now. The message was entitled, Can You Hear Me? The question is, I can truly hear him now. Amen now. Then we can ask, are you listening? Hallelujah. Who are you listening to? My God. All right. Are you listening to him? Are you listening to her? Are you listening to Jesus Christ? Because you can hear him now. Hallelujah. I can truly hear him now. Thank you, Lord. Because 1992, I didn't hear him. Thank you, Jesus. I went to a revival. Thank you. Thank you. In 92, yes. Sean Till was preaching. Praise the Lord. Five days. Amen. Now. Came in, hear it, didn't hear it. Yes, yes. yes, Lord. Something different happened the next year. Thank you, Jesus. That is why yes, yes. the Lord Jesus was tried yes, yes. before an unjust court. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. But he endured the injustice. Oh, yes. You see, just like Paniah was ragging on Jesus, yes, and ragging Lord. on Hannah. Yes, they was talking about Jesus just like they did him. Amen. But Jesus did all of that so you can hear Jesus clearly now. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus was beaten, yes. punched with a bag over his head, yes. and scourged all night long, but he endured all of that. Yes, so Amen. you Hallelujah. can hear Jesus clearly now. Amen. The Lord Jesus was laughed at, ridiculed, just like Paniah did Hannah, yes, yes. he endured all of that. Yes, Lord. So you can hear Jesus now. Right. Thank yes, you, Jesus. The Lord Jesus was escorted through the streets of Jerusalem. Yes. He endured that. Thank you, Lord. So you can rest yes. in Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Amen. The Lord Jesus received one nail in his yes. left wrist, yes, Lord. another nail in his right wrist, yes. Yes, Lord. and another nail in his feet. Yes, Lord. He did all of that yes. so you can call him up on the main line. Now. Amen. 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 Thank you. The Lord Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. Yes. Paniah didn't know what she was doing. We don't even know what we be doing most of the time. All right. But he endured all of that. Yeah. 
so we can call him up now. Amen. Now, amen. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me in amen. heaven and in earth. Amen. He endured all of that, y'all, so you can do this in remembrance of me. Amen. Amen. The Lord Jesus was pierced in his side, and he was hung on an old rugged cross. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. And then he hung his head. And then he died. Yeah. And as they say, that's love. Amen now. Hannah had love. Yes, Lord. The thing is, do you have love today? Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. And as he gave up the ghost, yeah. Yeah. they placed Jesus in an old borrowed tomb. Yeah. Yes, Lord. That belonged yeah. to one of the three Sanhedrin councils, yeah. which was Joseph, Joseph. of Arimathea. Yes, Lord. They put him there and he stayed there all day Friday. Yes, Lord. He stayed there all day Saturday. But early Sunday morning, Hallelujah. he got up. Hallelujah. Not with a little power, but he rose Amen. from the dead Amen. with all Amen. power Amen. in heaven and in earth. The same Jesus who rose from the dead will be Amen. returning Thank in you. like manner. Thank you, Lord. Will you be ready? Yes, Lord. Will you have good reception? Hallelujah. Will you call him up? Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready you. to be redeemed? Amen. Let's give God some praise. Amen. 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 Lastly, make sure you can talk to the Lord like Hannah did. Amen. Now. With a good uplink yes. and a good downlink yes, like Lord. Samuel had. Good. To hear the voice of God. Amen. So we will all not experience the pitfalls in our life and our parenting. Let's give God some praise. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. All his power, all eyes closed. Yes, sir. At this moment, if there's someone you've been trying to figure out, you've been praying, you've been talking to the Lord, people have been praying for you, but it seems like no results yes, Lord. have happened. You might be in a predicament like Hannah. Hannah was trying to talk to the Lord Yes, Lord. In difficult circumstances. She was in a place where she felt like God is not hearing me. Just as she felt like God wasn't hearing her, her son heard him. Thank you, Jesus. And you may want a better connection. You might want a better provider. You might want what God wants you to have instead of thinking what you need. If there's someone who has not accepted Christ into their life before and you're trying to establish that true connection with Jesus Christ that you've been wanting and experiencing, we shouldn't have a better connection on our phone than with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We use our phones for everything, but we don't use our prayer line to Jesus Christ on a daily basis. The songwriter said, Jesus is on the main line. Amen. Tell him what you want. You can tell him right now. Yes, sir. By making sure your connection is secure and your salvation with the Lord Jesus Christ. If there's someone who wants that connection that you never have, all you have to do is just raise your hand. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Is there another? You may feel like your phone bill of your life has not been paid. But understand that Jesus paid it all 2,023 years ago for your connection to be secure. If there's someone who would like to make one way assembly your church home, I preach the message, it's not where you're from, 
is where you at. Hallelujah. And if you want to find yourself in one way assembly where the word of God is being preached, is being taught, and the gospel is being poured out, all you have to do is just raise your hand. connection in here because their phones are going off. <laughs> and might be Jesus calling you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. As we prepare to discern the Lord's body, Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me to show forth my death and suffering until I come again. Sacraments. All right, we can move through this very quickly so everyone can enjoy their day. Let us pray a prayer of consecration and forgiveness. Dear Father God, we come before your presence this Amen. afternoon. Thank you. Thanking you for your worthy to be praised, glorified, and lifted up. And Father, at this moment, we just come asking forgiveness for all of our sins and all our transgressions. Father God, at this moment, if we've done something, said something, or looked at someone inappropriately, Father, please forgive us. Lord, forgive us for all of our sins of omission and our sins of commission. Lord, cover us from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet and remove anything that's not right. Lord, have mercy on us based upon the large piles of sins that yeah. we have. Even though our sins may be red like crimson stain, your blood is able to wash our sins wider than you. Thank you. And we believe that. Lord, we thank you. Forgive us. You said without the shedding of blood, there will be no remission of sins. Lord, we thank you. We ask these blessings in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 As we hold this bread, it is symbolic of the Lord Jesus Christ's body. When he broke it and distributed it, it was the same as his body was broken for us. They beat him. They pierced him in his side. And that's why the writer says, by his stripes, we are healed. Amen. He was bruised for our iniquities. But when he broke the bread, he gave it. And it said, do this in remembrance of me to show forth my death and suffering till I come again. He said, take y'all of it and eat, and they all did eat. And Lord, we did this not for the nourishment of these mortal bodies, but we did this for the nourishment of the soul. When Jesus poured the fruit of the vine, he said, this is my body and my blood that is symbolic of my blood that was shed and given as a ransom that represents the New Testament and the New Covenant. He said, drink ye all of it, and they all do drink. And Lord, we did this not for the nourishment for these mortal bodies, but we did this for the nourishment for the soul. And as we come to a conclusion today, if anyone needs to participate through giving through these 
social media or technology devices, you can find us on Giveify, One Way Assembly, and you can find us on Zelle through 510-417-8000 for your giving if that's your choice of selection through online. And dear Father God, we thank you so much as we conclude with the benediction today. We thank you so much for what our eyes have seen and our ears have heard yeah. on this day. Yeah. And Father, give us the ability to avoid the pitfalls of our parenting yes, and our life and let us be able to hear your voice more clearly yes. as Samuel did. Yes. Amen. Because it was a praying mother Yes, that made a destiny for a people Thank through our son. Yes. Let us do likewise and be the priests that God has called us to be. We ask all these blessings in Jesus Christ's name. We pray. Amen. 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 Thank y'all so much. Amen. Amen. God be the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.